everyone, so I'm filming in a slightly different location today again than my previous video but that's because I've got people over and I can't really use the living room because then it'll mean that they can't go in there. So I'm kind of in my wardrobe room, I've got my equipment kind of all over the place and it looks crazy in here but hopefully you can see okay and that's all that matters. So I wanted to start off with um, another little haul for you because I have been shopping quite a bit recently and um, yeah I don't know. I think it's just the change of seasons I've just felt like buying things so I'm gonna start with beauty things well it's basically all beauty and a little bit of lush and I'll start with the lush things actually so I picked up a couple of kind of bath products the first one is rose queen rose queen and this is described as a tropical rose scented bath bomb fit for a queen drop into a pre-run bath for a floral fragrant experience so I will open these to show you what they look like um, <laughs> this is gonna interesting um, this is what it looks like it's just kind of a bath bomb and it's this kind of pink and off-white color it smells nice it smells like lush and um, yeah I kind of bought these to be honest not really to use in my bath because it's not my favorite thing I feel like it's not very um, economical to use lush products in your bath either because you don't get that many goes out of them but I like to just have them in my bathroom because I feel like the scent they give off is really strong and lovely second one is think pink and this is a um, mm -mm -mm. Basically, you put it in the bath and it says it's a bright pink bath which explodes with confetti. Heart drop your ballistic into a pre-run bath. Oh, so it's a bath ballistic. Um, I'm not like a huge kind of lush girl, so I don't know what everything's called. But this is adorable. It's so pretty and it smells kind of a little bit more... A little less floral which I quite like and I just can't wait to use this I'm really excited to use this um, but like I said I'll leave them for ages and ages on the side of my bathroom first to make everything smell nice and then last but not least I bought space girl which is a bath ballistic as well so I've bought kind of loads of the same basically but I will show you this as well because this looks really pretty this I probably won't use in my bath I'll probably just keep this to kind of fragrance the bathroom but it's just this kind of like spaceship type of bath bomb with glitter on it so yeah I will um, be enjoying the scent of those in my bathroom is that weird that I buy things just for that purpose but I don't know then I bought myself a hand sanitizer and I know this is really boring but I wanted to share this with you because I have come to a conclusion that um, Wilco's do some really great products and it's a shop I've never been in before I went in there a couple of days ago just um, because I was waiting for my friend and I like thought they've got really good things so this is the fruity berry instant hand sanitizer and they've got a couple of different ones of these and I think they're kind of like the answer to the Bath and Body Works ones they smell really really amazing and my postman's just drove and passed so I might have to go in a second um they smell really really amazing and the orange one they do is really great as well and I needed one they're 50p and I think they're a really cute um buy so if you're looking for any hand sanitizer these are nice then um, I'm going to move on to makeup. I couldn't resist and I purchased another foundation after I swore to myself I wasn't going to but it was because um, I was using the L'Oreal True Match and I just really don't like it. It's good. I'm going to mention it in a video I'm going to film later on but I didn't like it and I just wanted to try this. And this is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum and I love this. I'm wearing it on my face today, just a very kind of light covering with my fingers. I wore it all day yesterday, I applied it with a brush and it was beautiful. So far so good, I've only used it twice but I really really like it and a lot of these makeup items I've used once or twice so I can sort of give you like little first impressions but upon first impression I really like it and I've got it in the shade 56 which is darker than um, I am in the Bourjois Healthy Mix, the regular one but for some reason the shades of these seem to be a little bit lighter, I'm not sure what's up with that. So that's foundation. Then I also picked up a concealer because so many of you have recommended this to me. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Loads of people have told me how great this is. I've got it in shade number four, I believe. Um, it doesn't say on here. I can't tell you what shade this is in. I believe it's shade number four anyway. I do like it. Um, I can see how people think it's similar to the Collection 2001. I just feel the Collection one's got more coverage, but it is more drying. This is kind of a little bit more natural um, under the eye area, and it blends nicely. So I, I like it. I'm not in love with it yet, but I do like it. 
and then um, I bought a lot of lip pencils because I'm planning a video to kind of compare a lot of the drugstore lip pencils and the kind of chubby sticks basically. So I picked up a bunch of them. Boots have got three for two on at the moment so I've kind of gone a bit crazy. The first one is what I'm wearing right now and this is the L'Oreal Glam Shine Balmy Gloss which looks like this. This is really cute. Um, just a kind of vibrant pinky colour. I can't remember the shade of this and I was trying to look at it yesterday and it doesn't tell you it anywhere. Oh yeah, it does. It's on the lid. So I'm being an idiot. It's a uh, ball for watermelon. Really cute. Then I got one of the bourgeois ones and this is the bourgeois colour boost um, waterproof colour, I don't know if it's waterproof, it says it's got an SPF 15 and all that kind of thing. This is called Peach on the Beach which I think is really adorable and it's just this kind of pretty peach colour. Really nice, I wore this a couple of days ago and I like that as well. And then last but not least I got this one by Rimmel and this is their colour rush and this is in the shade don't know what shade this is in. It's just a kind of nudie colour. I'm not so impressed by this one to be fair, I preferred the other two but yeah, expect a kind of lip pencil video coming your way soon. So that's it for those types of things. And then I also picked up one of the number seven BB Lips Beauty Balms because I'm um, going on holiday next week for a little week and I thought that it would be nice to just have something like this with me to be able to kind of use on the plane that's moisturising and glossy and pretty and yeah, I quite like it. I, I wouldn't have bought it normally but I had one of those number seven money off things. And then I bought a bunch of complexion um, <laughs> types of products, so blushes and bronzers. The first one I bought is the Max Factor Blush in Soft Pink, which looks like this. I've got this on my cheeks today. First time using it, I do really like it. And then I also bought two natural collection blushes. This one is in Peach Melba, which people on YouTube talk about loads. And this one is in Dusky Pink. Really, really looking forward to um, trying the Peach Melba one. So far I've only used Dusky Pink. The quality of these is really annoying though. They always come loose in the pan. But I suppose they're only like warm pans and things so you can't really complain. And then I also picked up a new bronzer because I just felt like I was bored with all my bronzers. Do you ever get that bored with your makeup? So I picked up the Bourjois Chocolate bron Bronzer which looks like this. It smells so good. I used to love this. It smells like my little ponies and it's just a really unusual... Um, kind of packaging but the bronzer itself is really nice and I'm wearing this on my face today as well. So that's it for kind of makeup items and then I'm going to move on to some kind of other beauty And I also I picked did. up the Garnier Micellar Water. Doesn't the packaging of this look um, spookishly like Bioderma but I saw this I hadn't tried it and it was really inexpensive and you get 400 mils and I just thought it looked really cool so I've used it once. I like it so far but um, I definitely picked this up. It's something ridiculous like £2. And then I bought myself this little Christmas kit from philosophy because it was on the kind of reduced section in boots and I'm not sure why I bought this so it was a bit of an impulse purchase really but it's the the cookie exchange little kit and the tin of this is really pretty and then you open it up and you get a sweet creamy frosting body lotion the Christmas cookie um, bath and shower gel I do like that that looks nice and then a lip gloss which looks like this I probably won't use that but I just picked it up because I thought it looked cute and the packaging is nice. I might not keep this. I might give it to someone as a present because it would make a nice gift. But I do think it's very, very cute. And then last but not least, I picked up an amazing bargain from the sanctuary. But I'm going to have to lean over and pick that up because there's a lot of content in it. So you'll just have to wait a moment for so me to go and get it. So this is it. And it's the Sanctuary with Love kit that is on offer in Boots at the moment from £45 reduced to £22. I had to pick it up because I'm obsessed with the Sanctuary products. And the package is beautiful it's got this kind of like beautiful birds and floral detailing here and then um, I will show you what it looks like inside but the box itself is just gorgeous and the box kind of got two small compartments inside and then you get the product so that's what the inside of the box looks like and I'll pull things out and tell you what you get so you get a sachet of the salt scrub haven't used that yet um, the body scrub I have used that, that was quite nice. Then a body butter, this is the, um, just the regular body butter. I like the collagen one, but I love the scent of everything Sanctuary do, it smells so good. And then hand cream, which looks like this. A heel balm as well, which isn't in here because I took that out um, to put by my bedside table. And the Sanctuary body lotion in one side. And then in the other side you get a um, body moisture spray this is amazing I used this the other night and it's just so my skin has never felt so soft I love this I'm gonna get full size of that 
and then a um, luxury bath foam, a luxury bath, um, a foaming bath soak, sorry, I haven't used that yet, and a shower gel, well, a body wash, it's one of those kind of, that's got little beads in it, which I think looks really cute as well. So that's the content of the box, and for £20 you get all of those products, and they've still got it in boots, so if you are a Sanctuary fan, rush out and buy yourself one, because I think it's great value for money. So that's everything that I picked up. I won't be doing any more hauls for a little while now, I think, because I need to stop shopping, but um, if I do, I will film them for you, because so many of you have been enjoying them, but I hope you like this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big, big thumbs up, and I am going to go ahead and film my monthly favourites now while I've got some time, so I'll see you in my next video.